Hi. In this session, we are going to learn about binary search, right? Now, binary search is another way of searching for an element in a list of elements. But there is a constraint on binary search. Like for example, if you have a list like this, which we had used it for linear search, I cannot apply binary search on this list directly and to search for an element. And be wondering why. The reason is the binary search expects that the elements are in arranged order. When I say arranged, ascending order or descending order. So it should be sorted. Only if the list is sorted, we can perform binary search. Otherwise, we cannot perform binary search. Is this clear? So what we'll try to do is first we'll let us try to arrange these elements. Okay. So after that, we'll try to apply the binary search. So assume that we have this elements 2, right? Then this element 3, then 4, then we have 6, 7, and 9. So on this list, you can perform binary search, but on this list, you cannot perform binary search. Fine? Okay. Now, the logic of the binary search is we will not do the searching sequentially. Instead, if you have a list of elements, we try to divide the list into two halves and then go to the middle element directly and check out if the middle element is your key element. Okay. So here I had six elements. I'll just take up a array of seven elements first, which is odd number of elements. Then I'll come back to even number of elements. Right. Let me take up some element like 12. Okay. The indexing is like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, you don't start comparing the first element and then second. Instead, what you do it is you jump to the middle element. How do I get to know the middle element? You take the index of the first element. You take the index of the second, okay, the last element, 0 plus 6. And then you try to divide by 2. Please do remember that I want to perform the addition first followed by division. So this will give me 3. Clear? So I want to compare this element with the key element. If this is matching, well and good, the element is found. If this is not matching with the key element, then what to do it is, I need to check if the key element is lesser when compared to this element or is it greater when compared to this element. If it is lesser, I will only search here by skipping this. Or if it is greater, I will only try to search in this skipping this. Right? So either the key, if it is not matching with this, will it be lesser or greater? Right? It cannot be both lesser and greater. So in that case, we know that we will be skipping either the left half and search in the right or skip the right and then search in the left. Clear? Right. So 50% of the list we are going to neglect or discard after the first comparison. And we try to apply the same concept for that half of the list, right? Now, assume that we are searching for this particular element in this subset, not in this subset. So again, what you do it is you try to find out the middle element. Here, let us say you want to search for the element 3, okay? Like now what you do it is you get the index of the first element and index of the last element in this sublist. 0 plus 2 is 2 divided by 2 is 1. We get this. Key element is matched. Good. If you are not searching for 3, you are searching for some other element, then again, we either go to the left side, skip the right, or we go to the right side, skip the left. Right? That is what we do. Okay. At every step, we keep dividing the list by two halves, and then we discard half the list. And every time you keep discarding the list by half, 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 then the number of steps required to search for an element is very fast. To get a feel of how fast it is going to go, I'll just try to take up a list of 100. But yeah, I'll not be drawing the list of 100 elements. Just assume that we had 100 elements. In the first iteration, you compare the middle element 50th. And after that, if it is not found, remember at one of the side, you will have 50. One of the side, you will have 49. Because 50th element is anyhow discarded, right? 
okay so you will be left out with 99 element because the middle element will be discarded now let us try to consider a larger side of this 50 only now after the second comparison one side will be 25 the other side will be 24 after two comparisons you can just see the list size is max 25 after the third comparison the list size will be 12 after the fourth comparison the list size will be like after this it will be like after this it will be like one right and finally you will get you don't have any further elements you can get to know that the element was really found or not found so one two three four five six and finally last comparison totally in seven comparisons we can get to know if the element is present or not if we were doing linear search remember you have taken 100 steps so you might be wondering like if i have 200 step elements do i require 14 steps the answer is no i don't require 14 steps because if you had 200 elements after the first one you one side will have 100 the other side will have 99 you require eight steps if you have 400 elements you require nine steps if you have 800 elements we require nine ten steps clear so can you just imagine if we have 1 lakh element, 1 lakh, right? If I just want to add up zeros, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh. I have 1 lakh elements. I want to search using binary search, but provided they are sorted. You know how many steps does it take? Binary search? 1, not even 1, 9, sorry. 1, 7. 17 steps 17 steps are sufficient for me to check out if the key element is present in the list of 1 lakh elements or not seems to be quite fast good okay so once we have realized that binary search is a good okay searching mechanism but the only constraint is like it has to be a sorted list otherwise we will not be able to perform binary search okay now let us try to understand how do i really perform this particular operation and we'll also try to understand what happens if i have even number of elements i have considered odd number of elements here but if i have even number of elements what will happen right okay here i have taken up the elements which are arranged but again, I've considered odd number of elements. Now, as I said, like first we should consider uh, the index of the first and index of the last. So I'll just use the variable names like start index and the end index. I'll write start index equal to initially zero and my end index will be equal to the number of elements minus one. If you have 7 elements, the last index is 6. If you have 100 elements, the last index will be 99. So I'll just write n minus 1. This is my start index and this is my end index. Clear? After that, what I should do? I should try to calculate what is my middle index. So I should write mid index equal to your start index plus your end index divided by 2. Please do remember about this bracket because otherwise it will perform the division first and not the addition. Clear? Okay. Now, the next, after I get the middle index, I should compare the key element with the middle index. So, I will be comparing the key element for equality. If key element equal to equal to mid index, then we can say that yes, element is found right but okay you might end up doing this mistake remember if you do this you know what you'll be comparing with you will not be comparing 12 with the key element you'll be comparing 3 with the key element but my objective here is to compare 12 with the key element so what should i use i should use a of okay key element so sorry i should use 
ये ऑफ मिड इंडेक्स आई शुड कंपेयर विद दिस इज दिस क्लियर सो अंडरस्टूड दिस अ कॉमन मिस्टेक व्हाट वी एंड अप डूइंग वी एंड अप कंपेयरिंग विद द इंडेक्स वी आर नॉट सपोज्ड टू कंपेयर विद द इंडेक्स वी आर सपोज्ड टू कंपेयर विद द मिडिल एलिमेंट बट व्हाट वी गॉट हियर इज मिड इंडेक्स using that index i am going to access the element which is at the mid position and then compare the key if it is found then fine we can just say found equal to true and if you want to uh stop immediately you can also use the break statement fine if it is not found if this is not matching then i need to check out else if is the key element on the left hand side or the right hand side meaning it's greater or it is lesser if the key is greater when compared to the mid index right key is greater so it it is on the left side or right side key is greater it will be on the right hand side because key is greater like for example let us say you got this middle is a key element now assume that you want to search for 25 or 32 or 20 anything which is greater than 20 12 so it is on the right hand side right but anything which was lesser than 12 it will be on the left hand side if you want to search in this part what we do what is we update the start index remember start index was here end index was here but if the key was greater when compared to the middle element i will update the start index to this particular position how do i do that i'll just say your start index should be equal to remember this was your middle index and this we already compared you should not consider it again and again so i should put this point i'll just write okay mid index plus 1 right this has to be done in case if the key element is greater when compared to the middle element if the key element is smaller what should we do we should not update the start index instead the end index should move to this place right how do we get this end index should be one less than compared to the middle index right so you say else remember if it is equal if it is not equal if it is neither greater so obviously should be lesser so i don't need to write a separate if statement here so i'll just write my only the end index to be updated start index not to be updated equal to mid index Minus one. Done. After this, what should we do? We have to come back. We have to repeat the same operation. Get the middle index again. Then, okay, uh, again do the comparison. So this particular operation, what we have to do is we have to keep it in a loop, right? We have to put it in a loop. But the question is, till when it should keep repeating? You might say till it is found. but the, remember there is also a possibility that the element is not found at all so we cannot only say you keep on searching till it is found because there is always a possibility that you will never find that element so for that we have to think of this like how should we write the condition like it should come out of the loop okay so if it is found you want to come out you can actually have a break along with that okay if you put a break please make sure that you have a flap braces and then okay you have a break out here right fine so but if you want to consider the worst case like if the element is not found but you have done the comparison of all the elements in that case right now you had the start index here end index here and then assume okay let us assume that we want to search for let us say 3 right i want to search for 3 this is my key element right now my start index and my end index and my middle index it was 0 it was 6 i got the middle index was 3 but please do remember here i want to search for key element 3 not the middle index 3 right so please do remember i am not trying to search this is not the key element i got the middle index clear right so my middle element the middle element is 12 right middle element is 12 so is this matching with the key element no is the key greater when compared to this or lesser it is lesser key is lesser so i'll try to update this so in this case what happens your start index will be 0 your end index will be mid minus 1 it will be 2 what will be middle index 0 plus 2 is 2 2 by 2 is 
right? What is the element at index 1? 5. Right? After what happens here? Again, I'll try to compare 5 with 3. Not matching. Right? It's not matching. So now what you should do it is you have to again check out if key is greater or lesser. Key is lesser when compared to this. So this will be like middle index minus 1. It will be 0. Now here, what is the middle index? 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 by 2 is 0 again. What is the element? 2. Right? Is it matching? No. The element is lesser or greater? The key element? Key element is greater. So we check in the right part. So when you say right part, the middle index plus 1. You can just observe here the values of low and or you can say the start index and index. Right? The start index was here, n index was here. We came down to this place, we came down to this place, then we crossed each other. Clear? See, we started with this list, then we came to this part, then we came to this part, then we crossed over. When you cross over, what happens? The start index will have a value which is greater when compared to the end index. Clear? So when you have the start index value which is greater when compared to the end index value, then it means that you have gone through all the elements, you have crossed over, right? And then you need to stop. So we have to repeat this only as long as your start index is less than or equal to end index. But please remember even equal to because if it is equal, I need to enter in. But once the start index is greater when compared to end index, I need to come out. Is this clear? I hope you have understood why we got this particular information statement out here. Okay, you can try out with various other values. You have to write this table and try to understand. Like, okay, let us okay uh, do it with one more element. Like, assume that you want to search for 28. Remember, okay, we had considered something out here, but try to consider somewhere there. So, you want to search for 28. Right? The initial value, start index is 0, end index is 6, is 6 mid index is 3 and middle value is 12. That part remains the same, no issues. After that, you try to search and compare like is 28 matching with 12? The answer is no, but 28 is greater. Since 28 is greater when compared to 12, so what happens out here is this part gets changed, right? This part will be changed in such a way that your start index will be changed to mid index plus one, which is four. This remains same. The mid index, what you get is 5. What is the element? 25. Is it matching? No. Is it greater? Yeah, key is still greater. So, what you do it is we again update to right mid index plus 1, which is 6 and 6, and this is also 6, and this is 32. Right? After that, again we compare 32 with 28, it's not matching. Then, what you do it is we check out is 28 is lesser or greater? It is lesser. If it is lesser, we do this. Right? End index equal to mid index minus 1. So, end index will be 5. This will be 6. And now we need to stop.